Um, yeah. It's it's weird. I don't know. Absolutely. Um, I love how every I mean, conversation uh, we get to just comes back to prophecy bad. Like this was about the ten directions ability. <laughs> uh, I re I reread the Tash and Koji fight as we were because Kami's com I didn't even think about that. Like Kami's Kami's comment was interesting. Um, I didn't even think about this. Is Kashin Koji okay? So here's how like I'm hearing how I interpret it. Based off what he said in this chapter, uh, how like he thought of things. So he said his power far exceeded our imaginations, right? That was clearly true in the original chapter. He did not expect Ishiki to be this strong. He did far exceed his imaginations, but he was satisfied after the fact. Because he had completed his duty, the duty that Amato always intended for Kashin Koji, not the duty that he thought that he was meant to achieve, but the duty that Amato intended for him, which was to drag out Jigen, he did achieve his goal. And once he realized that, he had no fear, he had no regrets, the rest was up to the Hokage. Sure, he was misled in the beginning, but he had no regrets, this is just how things were meant to come about now nah, probably reading the dialogue here it's even worse than i remember when ishiki says it's highly likely that amato intends to have the hokage and uchiha dispose of me kashi koji says, says what mistake. question mark <laughs> and when <laughs> ishiki says because <laughs> you lack the power to take me down amato understood that it means kashi koji you have already fulfilled your role at the point that you dragged me out of jigen and you know what koji says that's absurd. <laughs> absurd. Yeah, but if you're trying to distract me in order to escape, it won't work. What he's like, saying now would all he be doesn't in, like, believe him. He doesn't all, want to believe that. What he's saying now would all be in retrospect, though. Like he knows that it, that is the case now. No, because like, it doesn't work like that. Because he's saying he was. He's saying that he accepted it like at the time. He was he was cool. I dragged him out again. I'm I'm happy to go lucky about it. After but no, that's gotten, not how you felt at the time. Defeated. It would be after he gotten defeated. He already he would have already accepted it by that point. I wasn't meant to do this. Clearly, I don't have the power to take Ichiki down. He would understand it by this point. Amano intended him for one particular purpose was to drag out Ichiki. By the moment that he got defeated, he would have realize that at the end of the day he is just meant to be a tool i had no fear no regrets and it, it was over i so, think that's how you're that they want you interpret it it is it is spotty i'm not gonna say that's not spotty but i think that's how it's meant to be interpreted here's the well actually um Saran, real quick um out of curiosity i'm gonna read this uh line to you <laughs> i had no fear nor any regrets i could leave the rest to the hokage Chapter 13, he says this. Um, yeah. Anything this, stand out this, to you? This anything stand out to you there? <laughs> no fear, no regrets. Yeah, but this is as, at the moment as of his defeat. That, that's fine, that's fine. But does anything stand... Okay, here, let me let me uh, zoom in. I could leave the rest to the Hokage. You're not sharing your screen. Does but... anything stand out there? No, okay, never mind. You can metaphorically yeah, zoom in. I don't, I... <laughs> oh, you metaphorically zoomed in. <laughs> I just quietly awaited death. No, ignore, um, ignore, no, no, just, just, I could leave the rest to the Hokage. Does anything stand out to you? Just tell me, Kami. <laughs> Do you remember the last thing Koji heard slash knew about Naruto before this Jigen Ishiki fight? Do you remember what that was? That he was in Jigen's ramen pot and Boro was guarding him. Kashin Koji was never informed that Naruto escaped, and Amato's plan didn't include Naruto. He thought Naruto was going to be sealed away. He was just expecting Shikamaru, and he was going to hide and whatnot. Naruto wasn't part of Koji's plan, nor Amato's. How was he expecting to leave this to Naruto? Oh, Unless he means wait, wait, Shikadir. Go he, he was <laughs> trusting Shikadir. You know, the guy who said, I have no plan. <laughs> ah, boy. He, he got wait, real wait, lucky wait, wait, and wait, didn't wait, leave wait. it to him. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back and read something. Give me a moment. 
Give me one of the reasons. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna make an analogy that I wrote down the other day that's similar to this. So, you, this is basically Hold parallel in the pain arc anyways. We might as well just make the comparison of this part. So, basically, what do we get in the pain arc? We get Jiraiya dying as he's leaving the rest. He believes in Naruto to do what he couldn't do. Then Naruto at the end of the arc is like, my master believed in me, so I'm gonna believe in myself and I'm gonna do it just like he believed. Imagine if that's not how it went. That's the correct version. This is the incorrect version to where imagine, because again, here is basically like Koji is basically saying because Naruto and Sasuke fought and whatever, they're sealed now, but they brought you down to 5% or less than 10%. So now I can actually do what they wanted to do. I'm basically carrying on the torch, carrying on their will, their tradition, whatever, to take you down in their place is what he's going to. Basically, Naruto's believing in Koji, or at least Koji knows that this is what Naruto would want. Going with that, it's parallel to the pan arc. Imagine if instead of what they did in the pan arc, imagine instead it goes the exact same way. Naruto's answer at the end is now, Master Jiraiya believed in me. So in turn, I'm going to believe in Master Jiraiya to take you down, Nagato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Nagato's like, bro, he's dead. What do you mean? I killed him. He's like, yeah, he's going to take you down. Yeah. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm just, I need to reload. I need uh, a comment. Uh, hold on. Just gonna run. I need to come up with something. <laughs> So Naruto believes in Jiraiya to take down Nagato. Let me let, let me let, let me reach to my hat real quick. <laughs> well, like I I feel like you can tell based off my reaction right now. You want something? Well, well, well while you're thinking, would you like to know <laughs> another silly no, 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 um no, 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 silly no, no, no. thing in this chapter? Is overwhelmed. Think about so many things at once. I can only think. But about yeah, so many let, let me overwhelm you some more. <laughs> did you did you notice when you read this chapter that um. Kishimoto or Ikimoto or whoever Moto was writing forgot <laughs> that Victor was a Kara member. <laughs> yeah, not even Deepa, considering that's anime only, which, you know, it's the same timeline, but not really. Uh, but no, Victor just is in the manga, and he just he's just not mentioned here. They just don't care. He never existed, bro. And the thing he just is, forgot. It's not, like, it's not like Victor was an outer member in the manga. No, he was an inner member. Yeah, yeah. as a result, was, Codes, guess, Claw Marks, guess, and then Damon and Ada, and then Boro, and then Delta, and then myself. You know who's left out there? <laughs> There's a very important <laughs> V Victor member was... left out there. And, oh, no, before you say, maybe Victor didn't get the... No, no, no. Koji says, every member of Kara was modified by Amato. Receive transplants of Shibai cells without fail. So the way Koji phrases it, even Garo might have gotten Shibai cells. So you can't say that Victor didn't get them. Koji's only talking about the inners here. So he's not going to say Garo out and stuff. But Victor is an inner member. So the, the way Koji's mm -hmm. phrasing it, even Ao could have gotten Shibai cells. But at the very least, I feel confident saying that the inner member Victor got them. Because without fail, all of them, all the inner members at least, got these Shibai cells. So it's not like Victor didn't get them too. Victor probably didn't manifest the Shinjutsu, but he forgot to mention them. <laughs> he was enhanced uh -huh. by Kara. Now your only excuse, the only excuse you can make, which doesn't work in the anime, but in the manga, is he's not mentioning Victor because Boruto has never met Victor. Obvious blatant contradiction to the anime, Another reason to yell at them for being stupid, because so in the anime, he's better. Bro, but you know in the manga, might he might be thinking, oh yeah, you've never met Victor. Why mention him? You don't know who he is. But you know what? Does, does Koji even have proof that Boruto met Damon? <laughs> <You know? laughs> or if Boro? Does he, does he have proof that Boro... Wait, yeah. How does he know Boruto met Boro? Because he didn't see Naruto get saved by... Boruto, that happened before he awakened his future site Shinjutsu, and he can't see in the past, which means he never saw Boro meet Victor, or sorry, Boruto meet Boro. So, no, I can't even use that excuse, because Koji Wait. wouldn't know if Boruto met Boro, so he Wait. doesn't know if he met Victor, too. So, hold on, Ishii says it's likely that he intends a Hokage, and... Wait, that's not true, because... From what I just read, Amato didn't expect Naruto to even be alive. Yeah, no. Also, yeah, yep. Ishigi mm -hmm. was surprised. 
Wait, Ishiki was surprised that Naruto was even in the village, so how did Ishiki come to the conclusion that Amato intends Hokage and Uchiha? Yeah, actually, Ishiki? we talked about Ishiki this many times. So again, we're not just going to excuse Kodachi. We we don't say Kodachi good, Ki Ikimoto bad. We, it's all bad. Like, even Kishimoto in the original Naruto has a couple plot things, but overall, the story is good. Yes, this is something we absolutely can, should, and do harp on. It's as ridiculous. Ishiki's like the only interpretation is if Kodachi was planning for Amado to have more role, considering they have Amado mysteriously, secretly whispering into his hand constantly. So I, my interpretation my was that this was never his actual plan. He did expect for Ishiki to win, and that was going to lead to whatever Amado's grand plan is going to be. This wasn't anticipated or expected. Think you'd escape my sailing jutsu? So how did he ever come to the illusion that like a motto light hot net dead on the mid light? Now thankfully, yeah, I didn't think about it from Ishika's perspective, but at least that's only one. You have Kodachi L, not like five, but now you've talked about this before. We we both have. Yeah, I'm sure we have, but I forgot. Okay, it's been more than once. We've talked about this multiple times. <laughs> Not any time reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta again, consider how much content we've talked about. I'm I'm confident okay, Amado so had some ulterior the... plan there. So he's he's literally surprised so when Naruto won against <laughs> Ishiki. It's it's funny because in the anime, not only does Jigen know that Naruto escaped, Amado also knew that Naruto had escaped. In the anime, I'm pretty sure. And Delta also knew that Naruto had escaped. So really? that makes... Yeah, because Delta used the portal that... Used the portal in order to go to the dimension mm. where Mora was. And saw and Naruto... Yep, you know what? No I remember that now. There. Jigen... Mm. She relayed that information to Jigen. Which is why Jigen in the anime never says... Oh, what a surprise, Okage! I didn't expect you to be here. He already and he already knew. Yeah. By the way, Kamui, mm -hmm. just in anticipation, preparation for Monday. I yeah, that's not a question I'm asking. I don't really care about it. I'll be honest with you. Well, the other thing I was looking at though is mm -hmm. in a slightly different. Like, Udi, I'm sure you'll want to get into this too. But Ishiki versus Kashin Koji. It's it's not really. It, it, so Ishiki's saying it's your destiny to die because of your genes. That's Ishiki's philosophy. And as it originally was, Kashin Koji is defying that fate by living. But because of this mm -hmm. 10 direction stuff, it's not Kashin Koji's fate to die. Yeah. It just isn't. It, it's one of a billion fates. It's just... There isn't, nobody has a destiny that they're overcoming. It's just, yeah, I mean, yeah, destiny is in your hands and that works, but it's not that you're defying a destiny. So it's not that Kashikoji is defying Ishiki's destiny for him. Yep. It's just, no, 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 there isn't. That, that's, you're just wrong, bro. That there isn't a destiny. Like, actually, I, I can just leave right now. Because um, feel, there was never I, a destiny in the first place. This was the last like the it's, it removes the defiance to, part. Yep. I feel like the destiny thing is meant to be metaphorical, not literal. I don't know. Well, really because quick. Like, if, before addressing that. Go ahead, Sauron. Th this is kind of random, but like, so Amato does say, I'm glad that you're well, seemingly implying that no, he did have Naruto in mind for his plan. I just don't know how he ever planned Naruto to escape. Well, no, I well, think he didn't he's plan for Naruto things. to escape. He's just glad because it's even better than what he planned. Yeah. That, well, so what maybe. did he plan? Bro was planning for Shikamaru to take out He probably planned to get, uh, obviously get Shikamaru to agree with him, and he was probably just gonna, like, hide or something. Or maybe he was gonna use one of his OP ninja tools that he never uses anymore, <laughs> and he was gonna do something you know, himself. The sound thing? He's gonna knock him out <laughs> for three days straight. <laughs> I will never I will never let that sound device go, bro. That shit's OP and he's I, I want him to, I wanna know I want answers on like what else this dude has. Uh, he's gonna put Ishiki in those okay. handcuff things. <laughs> Steal away his jutsu or whatever. 
Okay. To address Sauron's so, thing and really then quick. One last. I I, I want to say. Tiny last. Sauron thoughts. Huh? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. late. You're um, right. I know. We're already past like the time. Three hours but, later um, than we planned. <laughs> Two hours yeah. later than explained. Maybe we should just end here. Well, I, sleep I, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, we should, but I wanted to read this since it's related to the conversation. I never actually got to read it out earlier and related to something you were saying earlier, but still in this conversation. But rather than moving on to something new, a different conversation, let's just end with this one. So going along with what you're saying earlier, um, and this is one that we were excited to get to concerning the emojis you left under this one. So this goes along with Sauron too. So Sauron, feel free to comment on this. Koji awakening this ability when he did, ruins the Koji Ishiki fight. Rather than defying his destiny like Jiraiya, it's no longer about that. Koji was created to kill Ishiki, and was content and expecting to die there. When Ishiki told him he will die like Jiraiya, Koji actually agreed? He only changed his mind to teleport away because he saw the world was in danger after Ishiki. It never had anything to do with Ishiki at any point. Yeah, and that's what I was saying about the defiance part. He's not defying the fate that Ishiki is bestowing upon him. He's just being like, oh, the world's going to be bad. Yeah, like you said, Ishiki didn't matter from Koji's perspective. He realized that Ishiki meant nothing. And instead, the Ten Tails was the thing. I mean, this works from an identity aspect, sure. Like Koji's, you know, breaking the mold of what Amato created him for. And now he's doing something he, Kashin Koji, wants to, to do and blah, blah, blah. That's he's all fine. But he could have done that. that but this is honestly speaking. The simplest rewrite for this, just have him awaken the ability after the fight. Yeah. There's plenty of things you can just make up for this, but if he just does it after the fight, you keep him wanting to defy his fate, but then while he's trying to learn his identity, gets his ability, it comes up with what his identity will be. He's going to protect the world from the tentails now, and so on and so forth. It's something I not written for him. Prefer that. That's why when I was reading the yeah. chapter... I had figured that when I was when I had read spoilers, I didn't read all the spoilers. I had read some. I had figured that he had unlocked the ability after he had summoned himself out of the dimension. I I didn't. Yeah. I was shocked to find out that he had actually learned it right before he had actually died, and that's why he chose to live especially you know you know i'll, I'll add another me. especially i'll like add no another fucking layer to this and you know identity the theme of this arc maybe for this is narratively makes sense in the plot makes no sense but narratively if kashi koji defies his fate and he's solidifying his identity or in some manner that's when the shinjutsu awakens when he like becomes his own person yeah he awakens the shinjutsu as a result and this is just a science that like Amato and the others didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's and then guess what? That means that his decision to defy Ishiki would be what results in him awakening the Shinjutsu rather Which than vice versa. Exactly. Much better. Uh, exactly. It's pay, it's rewarding him and, and what, for doing good character arc yeah, versus yeah. Doing a character arc because he randomly awakened ability for no reason. Yeah. Like, if anything, the reason he awakened the ability isn't because of Koji, it's because of Ishiki. Because yeah. Ishiki are, got him near death. And Ud, you are, you are right. In the original chapter, like, there's no indication of it. But, like, to be fair, though, for the most part, Kashi and Koji just is, like, silent every time Ishiki speeds speaks that's fine um, no it can be a subtle visual indication not even anything. something of like a Chekhov's gun of oh well now we need something to pay off do what they did with ishiki's death right as kawaki stomps down on him ishiki looks up people theorize to this day ishiki did something there i'm still i'm still clinging to hope <laughs> yeah like that's not guaranteed there's no setup there it doesn't need paid off if nothing happens there that doesn't ruin the story. That doesn't make it worse at all. But if something happened there, we can go be back but... to it. I'm not going to be disappointed because they're not setting it up. 
that just something that we took too far and we misconstrued into something other than what it is. My point is, if you go, if they do do something with that, if you go back to that chapter, you can read that and see that and get that with the knowledge that we get retrospectively now. That just yeah. improves that chapter. I agree. Okay. This is why One Piece is good. I mean, the I problem is, again, Kodachi, Kishimoto, Ikido, uh, Ikimoto nonsense. Yeah, Kodachi wrote right this right far, and he didn't, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, play in this probably. That, I mean, that's, but, you know, it's the, the boring answer, but it's like, it's the honest truth. It's hard mm -hmm. to hate on it when different writer, it's kind of like, it's not really anyone's fault in that case. Kodachi wasn't planning it. I don't care what they say. Kishimoto wasn't planning for Kanaji to get fired. <laughs> Nobody plans to fire someone. <laughs> That's how it works. Mm. Um, well, I guess you can, but a anyway, the point is, I'm not going to hate on him for that part, cause that there's no visual indication. What I am going to hate on, though, is th the fact that they didn't just have him awaken it when he reversed something, like Saran said. Which is much Doing better. it at, before reduces the impact of his decision mm -hmm. whereas the other way enhances the impact of his decision exactly. it's such a it is the most minuscule irrelevant change within the plot and it only is a story aspect like it does it, let's be honest you're not going to read the chapter and start saying it makes no sense anymore if he awakens it two seconds later <laughs> it's gonna be it either makes sense or doesn't make sense to you that's not gonna change the only thing that changes is the impact of the scene from a narrative like, i always like the end scene i always had my issues with it mainly because i was like i felt like that was the time where you could have delved into a flashback that would have led and it would have ultimately led up to kash and Kuchin making the choice he ends up making so basically right before he makes that choice to summon himself out, there's a flashback and then he that flashback will inform why he chooses to make the decision anyways. I've always liked that idea that he did it because he didn't want to be what Amado made him for anymore. And But this this is retroactively like saying really never like, mind, he was cool with it, which even exactly. though the whole fight not the fight with Jigen, but the fight with Ishiki is essentially a Koji trying to defy like what Ishiki, what he's learning about Amato through Ishiki. That's what the fight was like, originally about. Yo, you about. were supposed to die, bro. You were never meant to beat me. And he's like, no, you're wrong. I, I will kill you. And then he realizes that was not true. And then it's like, okay, fuck. Yeah. Um, that's not what the is fight's this, about anymore. Is this anymore. really what I want for myself? Do I want to die? No, I don't want to die. I don't want to be the pawn Amato made me for. I want to be Kashin Koji. That's got impact. But now it's like, yeah, I was cool with it. You know what? I honestly wanted to die, bro. But like, uh, goddamn, I saw that Ten Tails and... I just couldn't, I couldn't let it happen, man. They I had no choice it. but to because live. The like, point is, when Jiraiya, when, uh, when Ishiki first came into being, going into the Ishiki fight, not the Jigen fight, if I'm separating the fight, it's all about Koji proving Ishiki wrong, that he's not going to fall along the same fate that Jiraiya was, in the same way that Naruto had to prove to Neji that he was wrong about destiny. So Koji, in the end, did prove Ishiki wrong by not dying in the same way that Jiraiya did, the same thing he was fighting for the whole time. So why was he fighting if he agreed, retconned retroactively, and... If we are doing this, that he awakened it because he's going against his identity, again, he would have done that when Ishiki awoken. So the fact that they're doing it now, they're adding in extra steps, muddying the, muddying the water with bad steps that are ruining the whole thing entirely because they already had it the way it should have been in the first place. They are unnecessarily adding on top of it, let alone everything they add is just making it worse. Yeah, it's just undoing what it was. Yes, exactly. It's like it's like they're retconning. It's like retconning a good scene. <laughs> Why? <laughs> one of the most iconic scenes in all of Boruto Part One. This is where the community exploded, bro. And you're just retconning, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> and I and, and I will consider this 
not a plot retcon, but like a narrative retcon, a mm -hmm. character retcon, I guess, because it's just like, no, bro, you were heavily against this idea. Yeah. And now you're just trying to say you were totally cool with it. Like, yeah. no, that is a blatant lie. Unless, unless you unless you want to subscribe to Melo's theory that he's lying to Boruto to manipulate him. But <laughs> you know what? Fine. Then it doesn't I, ruin it. But I then it's just unnecessarily including this lying. detail to make you feel this way for no reason. Yeah, I definitely don't get the impression that he's lying. It could be that he, what he means that he accepted is that he accepted it after he had been defeated. And it, this all hit him at once. And it's like, hey, this is just how things are meant to be. I know, but that's so ass! He just accepted it? Like, really? You know, what oh, kind no, of shit? Shino you endured, was right. Shino no, I'm gonna die the same butt, as bro. Well. You didn't endure jack shit. You <laughs> gave up after fucking one pillar. That's it. You're done. Ah, I give up. Some Shinobi. Some Jiraiya clone. Like, what do you why, mean you gave up? Why, the reason why I believe that that's like the moment that it's meant to be like, oh no, he accepted it in that moment is because that's this, that's the panel for the show. It's like after he was defeated, that's when he accepted it. He was fighting before, but he accepted it in the end. But then the whole divine, then the whole Shinjutsu thing happened, and then he decided to change paths. I don't like that. I would have liked it that maybe he accepted it and then fought with himself and said, "No, I don't accept this. I don't want to do this." That, that well, yeah, that's, that's fine. Just, yeah, that's, that's fine. He wavers. Better. But yeah, better. I mean, you're agreeing with us then. It, yeah, it's it's because again, he's the awakening of the Shinjutsu being the reason. Yeah, and he's escaping. Like I, I like it after the fact to be like, like he's searching for purpose. Maybe he does this. Then afterwards, he's like, he feels he has no purpose in life, and then he has to find a purpose, and this ability just kind of coincides with it. And the person that gives him a purpose is over at you. <laughs> Because again, his purpose yeah, in Roshimaru life gives him purpose. That's hilarious. His purpose in life was to kill Jigen. That's the reason he says himself, Koji says he was created to kill Jigen. He personally believes that. So he, when he's escaping Jiraiya's fate, he's not only escaping Jiraiya's death, he's escaping the reason Amado created him. He's becoming his own person, finding his own purpose. He wasn't created just to kill Jigen. Ishiki, he should come to that on his own rather than his ability basically telling him that for him. Because he says, I realize exactly. dot, 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 Ishiki's death wasn't enough. Why is he realizing that? Because the ability. Yeah, entirely. Yeah. And it's not like, and again, it's he's not escaping because he wants to be his own person. He's escaping because he thinks, oh no. I need to like save the world. I don't know. It's like yeah. it sounds like we're saying the same thing, but it, we're not, bro. It's just ah, yeah. It's, it, it's definitely annoying. It's annoying. That's mm -hmm. why I was hesitant to call this chapter good when I was talking to Free Game. Mm -hmm. I was like, because I like I really want to call it good. I really want to say that like I truly like a lot of this stuff, but like. It's definitely mixed. I like the me. ideas. It's just, yeah. it's the timing and execution. Some of these new, because again, like the idea, like this, the, this proves mm -hmm. Naruto right yeah. and Neji wrong. I fucking love that. Fade is in your hands. Like the thematic aspect of that alone is perfect for Boruto and Naruto. Like, Boruto and Naruto as series. I love that. But then it's just this little, you take this big step back with this. Mm -hmm small retcon to the koji fight okay that's great what you did but you ruined it it's you enhanced it in naruto but you ruined it for koji versus ishiki 